He changes our lives. It's a good cry. There's, there's definition to tears. I tell people that a lot. I just get overwhelmed. I'm 27 years saved, and I haven't toned down at all. You get to know him more. And you get to see him clearer. You get to live him and experience him if you live by faith and you don't let yourself get turned around some other way. We're in a race, people. I'm looking at an army. Like, this is amazing this morning. I'm looking at an army. There's so much influence here in Christ when we live by the Spirit. We all have spheres of influence. If you multiply the sphere of influence by the faces I'm looking at, we're covering a vast amount of people. You're not carrying some weight to change the world in a day. You're just anointed to live Christ. You're anointed to walk in love. You're anointed to make peace and, and show mercy. You're anointed to have an attitude that brings life, not takes life, that gives hope, not takes hope. We're all called to live this way. We're all called to walk in the light as he's in the light. All weekend I've been sharing things and cutting away the little foxes and the little things that, that can keep us from just walking out what he paid for. He didn't just pay for us to be blessed, guys. He didn't just, he's more, he's more than a suffering savior. He's more than the forgiveness of sins. He's, Jesus is the revelation of the Father. He's the revelation of what our lives were created to be because he said, follow me. He said, the things I do, you'll do if you believe. We're called to love just like him. First John 2, if any man abides in him, he ought to walk even as he walked. It's, it's amazing what we can live by the Spirit of God when we receive grace through faith. So don't take that lightly. Our lives are called to be transformed. We're not the same as we were. We didn't incorporate him into our life. He became our life. Come on, it's really real. Stay excited about this this morning because I'm telling you, everything is out for your believer. Everything is vying for your motivation. Everything is vying for your attention. And I believe the enemy himself wants to turn the gospel, just turn the gospel into something that blesses me instead of transforms and empowers me. And if all the gospel is is something that blesses you, you're probably disappointed because you don't feel as blessed as you hoped you would be. Like if you're a Christian for what God can do for you instead of how he can make you more like him, we're not going to run steadfast. We're going to live way up and down. Life's going to have a louder voice than his word. You, you can't, all, all over the country today, and I'm not being mean and sarcastic, I'm not being judgmental, I, I've just been to church as a young man, I've heard a lot of sermons growing up, all, all over the country today there's going to be sermons that all they do is warm your heart and benefit you and protect you and hopefully provide for you, without ever maybe challenging who you are, where you live from, and why you live. God's not just here to take care of us, He's here to empower us to live Christ Jesus. Are you hearing me? Yes. Not just because I'm mic'd up. Are you hearing me? Yes. 